Hey, bye bye Santa. Everybody just wait with me real quick and tell Santa bye bye. It doesn't matter if you're seeing this video in March, in, in April, in November. I want you to raise your hand like this and just wave and tell Santa, bye bye Santa. And I'm gonna tell you why, because remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. In life, we always wanna improve. We always wanna strive to be the best version of ourselves. So I'm sure that we could agree on that. And sometimes we just gotta tell Santa bye as we transition through life, as we grow. And when I say Santa, we gonna start with that S, that safety net. Some of us are intimidated or scared to move forward. And I am saying us, we're scared for these changes in life. Some of these seasons of growth, these transitions, sometimes we're scared. And when we do move forward, we have a safety net. I'm sure we've all seen, even on television, somebody on the high wire at the circus, and they have this pole that they used to balance as they walk across that line. Now, I remember Dr. Eric Thomas saying how he respects them, but he doesn't really have respect for them because they have the safety net. He was like, if you really want to impress me, remove that safety net. And sometimes that safety net is more of a crutch. I remember in the past when I was on a fitness journey and I began to lose weight. You know what my safety net was? I didn't want to get rid of all the clothes that I outgrew because, hey, there were nice suits. I had some nice shirts and pants. And my thought was, if ever I get big again, if ever I gain weight again, I could still have them. But it reached a point where I had to just get rid of everything, even though I was down to one or two pairs of pants because those larger clothes that no longer fit me, that was my safety net. So when I say bye Santa, that S is to get rid of our safety net. The next letter A in Santa is anxiety. I view almost the opposite of depression. When we're depressed, we're affected by what happened in the past. However, anxiety has us worked up and stressed and overwhelmed by something that hasn't even happened yet. And sometimes we have such a high level of anxiety that we can't even take a step forward. And a lot of times, I want you to really reflect over this, some things that we're really overworked and overwhelmed and intimidated by, once that time comes, once we complete that project, once we turn in that final research paper, we realized it wasn't even as bad as we thought. It actually was the opposite. The results were really good. So anxiety is real. We do have the right to be concerned about our future. We don't want to move ignorantly, but I do not want us to be paralyzed with anxiety. Next up, we have that letter N in Santa, negativity negativity we cannot continue to speak negative and think negative but then anticipate positive results once again i do not want us to move through life naive there are some things that are harsh realities however we're not limited to what we are experiencing right now whatever obstacles or challenges we have let's not be restricted by our negativity and sometimes we got to take something negative and something negative and we know when we multiply negative together what does that give us something positive let's use that negativity to grow i know it often feels feels easier said than done, but that's a reality. Taking that negative, that resistance, and allowing it to give us those reps, to build up our chest, build up our back, build up those biceps and those arms so that we can press forward. The fourth letter in Santa is T, it's tardiness, y'all. We have to respect our time and we have to respect other people's time. We need to exercise time management. If we are supposed to be somewhere at 8 a.m. and we know it takes 10 minutes to get there, let's stop leaving at 7.50. Let's anticipate that, hey, maybe, oh, I might need gas or maybe there could be traffic or an accident. Anything could happen. But if we have a deadline, Let's make it a point to get whatever it is that we need to accomplish. Let's go ahead and, and just prioritize, write things down and put things in order of the level of importance. Or something as simple as arriving on time or completing something in a timely manner when something is expected, it speaks volume because whatever that situation is, it is a representation of you. It doesn't matter how minute you feel that that timeline is, 
honor that time. Be a person of your word. And that last letter in Santa is A. And we're talking about abuse. And when I'm referring to abuse, I want us to think along the lines of substance abuse. What substance that we contain that we are not using properly. When we abuse something, we, um, we're using something bad. We're misusing it. We're going against its overall purpose. We're using it incorrectly. Let's stop abusing ourselves. And when I say that, we have substance. We have value. We have a skill set. We have gifts. We have have talents, we have capabilities, we're educated, whether you have a certificate to show for it, life and experience has given you an education. It has given you your own internal degree, your own bachelor's, master's, or PhD. Who knows? Make up your own degree. You have an emperor or a kingship in what you have mastered. And let's not allow that to go to waste as we move forward. So as I said earlier, we're gonna put our hands in the air and we go away bye to Santa. Tell Santa bye. We're gonna get rid of that safety net, that anxiety, that negativity, um, that, that sense of tardiness and that abuse. And I look forward to seeing the gift that's gonna be on the other side. I look forward to see the results that we achieve. You all are about to do something phenomenal. Now remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker, and I want you to have an amazing day.